Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. You don't know the power of the dark side. <laughs> you don't know the power of shut the fuck up. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, ladies and gents, and here we are. We are back at it again with another epic, epic, epic toy review starring Thanos. Look at him, guys. Look at him. Look at him. He looks freaking marvelous, and he's freaking huge too, guys. Um, so you guys probably have already seen a review of this figure. What we're going to do is take him out of the package, uh, do a little bit of close-up, review, articulation. But mostly this is going to be a comparison video. Um, I'm going to break out the other Marvel Select Thanos figures. I'm going to break out the other Marvel uh, Legend Thanos figure that I have in my collection. Actually, I think I have a couple of Marvel. Actually, I'm going to break out all the Thanoses. Thanoses? Thanoses? That sounds weird. Uh, and do a comparison with this Thanos. Thanos's. Thanos's? I, th I think I said that wrong. <laughs> That's why I saw this so weird. Um, also, I'm going to break out some Marvel Select figures, some Marvel Legend figures, a bunch of figures to do a comparison with this uh, Thanos. 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 You say tomato, I say tomato. Um, and we're going to do a bunch of comparisons, guys. Okay, so... Uh, by the looks of this guy, it's going to take me a while to take him out the package, but I wanted to show you what he looks like in package. There's the Avengers Endgame right there. you got to excuse me because my review station is pretty small compared to this guy. When you put this guy on my review station, he takes up a lot of fucking room because he's, he's freaking huge. Um, and there was the back, if you guys can see the back. I've heard good things about this guy. Let's go ahead and take him out the package and take a closer look at this, what appears to be a masterpiece. Okay, so here we are, guys. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Uh, he wasn't packed, or packed in it that bad, so he was actually pretty easy to take out. One thing I've noticed about this Thanos is it looks like, I don't know if it's his armor that makes him slimmer or what but this is a very very slim Thanos compared to other Thanos figures that I've reviewed usually the other Thanos figures that I've reviewed are chunky guys this guy is more tall you know more tall and slender compared to the other Thanos figures so before we do some comparisons let's go ahead and check out the articulation then I'll show you the detail of this uh, Thanos figure so Thanos arms extend out that much that's pretty much as far as you can go because it's hindered by the articulation right here of his shoulder pad you can't really oh yeah yeah no yeah you can't really rotate his arms his elbow oh he kind of yeah he does have kind of a 90 degree bend eh, somewhat somewhat let's see what this one this one holy crap those are tight dude yeah, that's tight. He's got some small hands, too. Um, Put that down, his arms down. Uh, break at the torso. Very, very nice break. Very nice articulation. Nothing at the waist. I hate when they do that, guys. I really hate, you know, just because they give him a break here at the upper torso, they feel like they don't have to give him anything at the waist. Um, which, that kind of sucks, because I the more articulation, the better, I think, you know. If you're going to go for the torso break, might as well go for the waist, right? Uh, look at that. Thanos can Johnny Cage it. Breaks here at the upper legs. Look at that, dude. Very easy. Very easy to break. This one, not so much. It might have to be warmed up, but yeah. Look at that, dude. Let's see, does he got double jointed legs? And, uh, not really. He doesn't he doesn't really need double jointed legs. Oh, but he does his his uh legs to go back. And you gotta be careful to warm this baby up because yeah, he is very, very stiff. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> you know, you gotta warm it up because uh you know, never mind. 
Okay, so he does have breaks here at the ankles. It looks like this part right here is a little loose. See it? The little crack right there. So you have to be careful of that. I'm sure it's just mine. So nice overall Thanos. Look at that, man. Look at the articulation in his, in his ankles, dude. Look at that, man. He's like breaking ankles like Kyrie Irving. Look at that, dude. Very, very nice. Very solid Marvel Select figure. Feels really, really good in your hands. Kind of like you're holding your, uh, never mind. So, let's go ahead and measure him. Oh, uh, the head articulation is just kind of the swivel. Kind of on a ball joint. You can look down like that. Like he's pondering who to kill next. He can look up that far, so if you guys care to know about his articulation. Um, so let's go ahead and measure him. I'm going to go ahead and try to put on this gauntlet right here. And, oh yeah, he does come with this heli helicopter blade right here, which, um, I don't know. It, you know, the reviews that I've watched for this guy, people say that it's not really accurate, but I don't really give a shit. But let's try to put it in his hand, just because. I just want to see how he holds it in his hand. Okay. You know what? We'll get back to that. I don't want to waste a half an hour of your time trying to trying to get him to hold that. So let's go ahead and do a measurement of the Thanos. So Thanos stands exactly at 9 inches tall, ladies and gents. 9 inches tall. That's how big this Thanos is. Do a little bit of a size comparison with the last figure I just recently reviewed of Taskmaster right here. That's how big Thanos is. Look at that, dude. It's like he's taking his kid trick-or-treating. Big, big motherfucker. All right, guys. Let's go ahead, put his gauntlet in there, his blade, and let's break out some other Thanos figures to do some comparisons. <sighs> All right, guys. So here is Thanos in his gauntlet right there. I can't really get his arm to bend. I had no problem putting his arm in, but you might have to warm up his arm. There he goes. Open gauntlet. It looks all right. It is. You can bend it. It does have a bend or a break here. Right there. There's the gauntlet. If you guys are curious to see how it looks. I wish it was a closed gauntlet. He kind of has an open gauntlet to smack. Smack his bitches. There's the blade in his hand. He actually looks good with the blade in his hand. I'm actually going to leave it in his hand. So he actually looks really, really good like that. Very, very imposing Thanos figure, man. Okay, so let's break out here all, all the other Marvel Select figures. Uh, Marvel, excuse me, Marvel Thanos figures. Select a few legends. And we're going to do some comparisons. So we'll go ahead and start down here with the, I believe this was the Walmart exclusive Thanos. More of the comic book version, but you can see the size comparison to the <laughs> Thanos. This Thanos, I think, is probably the biggest one of them all. So there's the Marvel Legends Thanos. Very, very nice. Uh, here is the Marvel Select, the very first one. How far we've come, right? How far we've come. It's hard to believe they're the same person. So that's how they measure up. And a lot of you guys are curious to know what this Marvel Legends Thanos looks like in size comparison. So if you know how big this guy is, uh, he overtowers this Marvel Legends Thanos right here. What do you think? Who has the better face sculpt? Ooh, that's a tough one, man. I do wish they had an interchangeable head for this Thanos, because uh, I do love the grimace look of this Thanos right here. This is from the 3-pack with Doctor Strange and uh, Iron Man. But I do like the subtle face that he has, and I do like the blue eyes, too. The blue are, is very, very vibrant. We'll do a close-up in a minute of this Thanos, and I'll show you the detail. Here is the other Marvel Select Thanos, the Disney Store exclusive Thanos, which is somewhat based on this wardrobe. This armored wardrobe. And you can see how small he is compared to this guy. That shows you how big he is. And here's my custom Thanos. The Omega, Ultimate Omega Thanos. It's a combination of a few Thanos figures that I base this, base this custom on. 
So there's that. If you want to see a review of any of these figures, I did a review of all of these figures. Let's do a close-up of this Thanos, and then I'll break out some other figures to do some comparisons with this Thanos. So let me show you guys the detail. So there is the face of this Thanos. Very, very nicely done. The helmets. He, he do, it does look like he has a small head. But I think it's proportionally accurate to his body. What do you guys think? Yeah. The helmet kind of gives him a small head, but then again, if you look at the rest of these Thanos figures, spe specifically the Marvel Legends, you know, he has a small head. Then you take a look at this Marvel Select over there. The first one, he has a gigantic head. So, you know, and this one right here, the Disney Store exclusive, I think is about proportionally accurate in my opinion. But this one is pretty, 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 pretty close. Pretty, 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 pretty. So there's his armor right there his chest very worn tarnished armor i like how they did that there's his arm gauntlet his loincloth hiding his big jungas kajungas there's his armored legs boots as you can see see here's the disney store exclusive that's what i mean by the armored look And then, if you guys are going to ask me about head swappage, <laughs> I don't want to do any head swappage. I don't want to take this guy's heads off and replace him with that one, even though I'm tempted to. I don't know if this head can pop off, guys, but I feel like it can. What do you think? Shall I take a chance? I feel like if I pop this head off, it's not going to go back on. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like it has the same ball joint as the Marvel, uh, the Marvel Legend. Even though he probably look, would look really nicely with this head on him, but it's a different color purple, so it wouldn't match up anyways if he decided to do the head swappage. So there's the blade, the armor, very very nicely done, man. Got to give it up to Marvel Select Diamond Select. His shoes kind of looks like he's wearing slippers. <laughs> Thanos is ready to destroy the world and be the conqueror of the galaxy all while he's in his slippers. I don't know why the rest of his uh, shoes are not gold. They should just gave him the gold armored shoes. Instead, they gave him uh, loafers. Okay, nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Let's break out some more figures. Let's do some more comparisons. And I'm going to go ahead and give you my rating and let you know what I think of this Thanos figure. Look, he can't even fit into the fucking camera. He's so big, dude. All right, so before we get to uh, other Marvel select figures, I wanted to break out some other Marvel Legends. Do some comparisons with him. And so here is my custom, custom Call Obsidian figure right here. So this is how Marvel Legends Call Obsidian measures up with Thanos right here. And what do you think, guys? This Call Obsidian is a big guy. So he's at about 9 inches as well. That's how he measures up with Thanos. Man. <laughs> he actually goes really, really well with the Call Obsidian. So here is the Marvel Legends Hulk. Which, mm, I don't know, kind of makes sense. I'll break out the Marvel Select Hulk in a minute. But I just wanted to do a comparison with this guy. So let's break out some Marvel Select figures and then uh, specifically some big figures and do some comparisons. Okay, so one thing that sucks <laughs> about taking out these figures and doing these comparisons is every time I take these figures off my shelf, a bunch of figures collapse. And then I have to rearrange his shit over and over again. So I do this for you guys. Um, so here is the Marvel Select uh, Classic Hulk right here. And what do you think, guys? Is Hulk bigger than Thanos? He is bigger than Thanos, right? So I guess they measure up pretty nicely. There's the Hulk Classic Hulk Marvel Select. And then here is the Iron Man Mark. I forget. I forget. He's a little, dust little dusty. So this is how he measures up with Thanos. And yeah, it's, it's accurate. It's accurate. One of my favorite Iron Man in my collection, dude. Not only Marvel Select, but just Marvel in general. I really like like this uh, Iron Man. He's so so freaking shiny. <laughs> All 
All right, so let's do some comparisons with some figures that aren't Marvel related. All right, so I brought out some other figures with some other weapons in their hands. Uh, so I seldom break out Star Wars figures to do comparisons. I don't know why, but I figure I break out this Darth Vader uh, because I feel like it's appropriate for this review because Darth Vader, for the longest time, he was the baddest bad guy in the galaxy, right? I mean, nobody could mess with Darth Vader. He was the man. There was nobody that could rival his evilness. And then Thanos came along, and I think he took a little bit of Darth Vader's shine. And Thanos kind of became the big bad villain um, and, and kind of filled Darth Vader's shoes. You know what I mean? Who would win, Darth Vader or Thanos? Ah, oh, man, that's a tough one. Damn, dude. That's a tough one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Uh, a lot of you are probably going to say Thanos because, you know, Th Darth Vader was kind of before everybody's time. But then again, Darth Vader, with the new Star Wars movies, man, Vader has been around since the freaking 70s, dude. But Thanos has been around just as long as Darth Vader. So, But this is how Darth Vader measures up. The Black Series Darth Vader measures up with Thanos right here. I just wanted to break out the comparison because... I can't think of a person who took over Darth Vader's mantle other than Thanos, right? So this is how they measure up right here. And just because I wanted to break in, <laughs> break out, break in and break out uh, my custom spawn right here. Let's do a comparison. This is the seven inch version. Who would win? Spawn or Thanos? Oh man, that is, geez, that's a tough one, dude. Spawn is, is from hell, man, and I don't know, man. That's a tough one. Who do you guys think would win, Spawn or Thanos? Damn, that's a tough one, dude. But that's how they measure up. There's my custom review, my custom, my custom review, my custom Spawn. If you guys want to check out a review of that, it's on my channel somewhere. You just got to look for it, but that's how they measure up right there. Pretty dope, guys. Okay, I think this video went on long enough. Let me go ahead and give you my rating of this Thanos. I really dig this guy. I think he's really, really nicely done. Um, if you're a Marvel fan, you should have this in your collection. If you're a Thanos fan, you definitely should have this in your collection. If you're not, um, then maybe this is not your cup of tea. Um, I think you would have to be a fan, right? Uh, to pick up the Thanos and appreciate him because I think he's really really I think he's really nice dude He's really really nice and I'm not I'm not a big big fan of Thanos But I do like him and I do appreciate the character of Thanos and uh, What's his name Josh is it Josh Brolin? He did an amazing job uh, playing Thanos Very awesome awesome guys all right, uh, I'm going to give you my rating. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to go ahead and give this guy... I'm going to give him a solid 9. Yeah, it's a solid 9. I, I definitely like this Thanos. I think he's really, really nicely detailed. He's a big guy. He's a big hunk of chunk of plastic. A big hunk of hunk of burning love. And I really like everything about him, dude. I like the blade, even though it's probably not accurate. I love the armor. The gauntlet, I don't think... Is the gauntlet accurate? I don't know. Uh, but overall, he's a nice done. He, he's nicely done for an action figure, dude. And he's got some nice weight to him, nice size to him. And I really dig this Thanos, man. So, yeah, I do recommend him, guys, if you do collect um, Marvel figures. E even if you do collect Marvel uh, Legends, I do believe this is a superior version of the Marvel Legend figure. I don't have that figure, never picked up that figure, but from what I've heard from other toy reviewers, uh, they said that that figure was crap. And this figure is pretty, pretty damn awesome. And uh, yeah, man, I, I think if you do collect Marvel Marvel Legends, I definitely do think he'll fit into your collection. Um, before we end this uh, review, guys, I'm going to break out some other Mar I'm Actually, I'm going to break out some Marvel Legends, some smaller size Marvel Legends, do a comparison, and then we'll end this video. This is a comparison video after all, so I figure I'll break out some Marvel Legends and show them in context. And actually, I do think he sizes up better with the Marvel Legends than he does Marvel Select, right? Because look at the size difference. I don't know. What do you guys think? So here is... Hold on one minute. So here is the Marvel Legend. Here is the Marvel Select. So what do you guys think? Does he measure up 
Better with the Marvel Legends or Marvel, Marvel Select? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think he measures up better with the Marvel Legends, because I do think of Thanos as a big guy and an imposing figure. So, I think he does measure up a little bit better. So, here is Thor. And plus, you look at Thor, too. So, uh, Iron Man is a short guy, right? So, here's Thor. Marvel Legends Thor. And, yeah, he does measure up really, really well with this Thanos, man. So, there's the Marvel Legends Thor. Here is Thanos. So, he, and he is right about his chest, right? So... What do you guys think? I, th I think so, man. I think he measures it better with Marvel Legends. So, yeah, if you're looking for an awesome Marvel uh, uh, Thanos to put in your Marvel Legends collection, Arm Armored Thanos, I think this guy is a better choice instead of buying all those figures that you don't really want to build that. Build a figure that's really not worth it, you know what I mean? All right, guys. I can't speak anymore, man. This is probably a 20-minute video. If you guys sat through all of this, I just want to say thank you. Give me a likes, give me a give me some comments, give me some shout outs, give me some subscription, subscribe. Uh, go ahead and, and bust a nut for me if you want to. Um, <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I was going with that one. <laughs> um, and we'll go ahead and leave it at that, man. There's nothing more I can say. A solid, solid nine. Uh, like I said, if you sat through all of this, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching. And guess what? I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye.